Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to share with you at least seven secrets I learned over time to become a successful hardware engineer. A lot of people have been asking me, Kirsch, how do I get started in hardware design? How do I get started in PCB design? Well, this is it, right? These seven secrets are going to lay overall the general foundation you need to know that you can be successful and over time confident in your PCB designs. So let's get started. Secret number one is to understand and learn the PCB layout process from a schematic to your finished printed circuit board. Okay. And you want to do that using a professional PCB software. Take for instance, Altium designer. You can get a free trial for two weeks. Make sure you use, you make sure you use the link in the description below. If you're going to get that Altium, get that Altium free trial and then do a PCB layout. Take my free tutorial series on how to do the PCB layout. Take other tutorial series as well, okay? And so you could get that practice before the two weeks runs out. So that's secret number one, learn and understand the PCB layout process from start to finish using a professional PCB design software. Secret number two, you want to understand electronics design. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not talking about just PCB design, I'm talking about hardware design engineering, which includes Everything from start, schematic part selection to finish PCB layout, okay? It's because nowadays, you, you're going to be more attractive, even more attractive as a PCB designer if you are really a hardware designer. You're from scratch to finish, okay? So Practical Electronics for Inventors is my highest recommend book. I highly recommend this. If you're really trying to fresh, uh, refresh yourself on electronics uh, quickly and uh, to get back up on your game, and also to learn about practical electronics like wiring, cabling, and all that stuff. Stuff I learned on the job, not in college, okay? A next book is The Art of Electronics. Fantastic, fantastic classic book, and I'm so glad they've been updating it. So this book, how is this different from the first book, right? This gives you all the electronics you can imagine, but in... Uh, not in just basic components, but also cookbook kind of circuits you can use for different applications. Plus, they really get in on some of the communication protocols like SPI, I squared C, so on and so forth. So this is a fantastic book. Always keep this in your library. That's secret number two. Understand your electronics design as a hardware engineer. Secret number three, you need to understand how to select components and parts. So Check out DigiKey. How do you select parts from Mauser, Aro, Octopart? How do you, how do you do your parametric search to make sure you're getting the correct the correct parts? And what are the schematic symbols that you would put in the schematic design from secret number two, right? But not only that, how do you read the the data sheet so that you can understand the mechanical footprint that goes underneath the device onto the PCB? You need to know that as well. Yes the PCB layout, the footprints. Okay. And that's governed by like uh, IPC 7351 standard and some other things, but yeah, understand parts, both the conceptual and the mechanical part of the part. <laughs> okay. No pun intended. All right. So that's secret number three parts. Secret number four, PCB fabrication. I always harp on this, you know, I, for a while, for a long time, I didn't really know all the steps in the PCB fabrication process, and I still don't know every single step, but I at least kind of know what it looks like and the materials that are involved, because guess what? The materials affect signal integrity and EMI and PCB stack up and all that stuff. There are very specific reasons why the manufacturer wants you to do certain things a certain way to have an even number of layers on the PCB as opposed to an odd number of layers. And this is called design for manufacturing. When you design uh, with your manufacturer and assembly company in mind, because here's the Achilles heel. Every PCB that you want to design, you want it to be made, right? It needs to be manufactured. So there's really no way to escape the design for manufacturing process. All right. So it's a set of steps or rules that make it easier for your manufacturer and assembly house to fabricate and build your assembled PCBs for longevity, for a good price, reliability, and things like that. 
plus you want to use the IPC 221 standard, which is generic standard on printed circuit board design. Very good standard. Okay. This is where the top companies put all their best knowledge and give you some guidelines on how to lay out your printed circuit board. So design for manufacturing and understanding the PCB layout pro uh, the PCB fabrication process and assembly process is essentially secret number four. Secret or secret number five, excuse me. Secret number six is electromagnetics. So what do we mean by that? You need to understand signal integrity, power integrity, and electromagnetic compatibility slash EMI. What do these affect? How are these connected? Okay. So the signal integrity affects your traces, your controlled impedance traces, your things that affect length matching, skew, so on and so forth for your high speed digital design. You need to understand your signal integrity. You also want to understand power integrity for the power distribution network. That's also important for the parts. All the parts are going to need some kind of power. So your power distribution network and how that's affected by power integrity or PI, SI is important. Then EMC, EMI, you know, why does this matter, right? It's to a pass emissions testing, and this directly is affected by and affects your PCB stack up and also your signal integrity and your traces. So you need to know this as well. If you want a good primer on like electromagnetic compatibility and PCB stack up, check out Rick Hartley's presentation on um, achieving proper grounding. He's like the stack up guru on this stuff. And also, also, Dr. Eric Bogatin, Signal Integrity. All right, you want to check him out. He is the Signal Integrity Evangelist. Okay, so understand those. Why? Because when you understand secret number six, the electromagnetics, then you're ready for high speed PCB design. Oh, and if you understand secret number five, the materials and the design for manufacturing, okay, then you're ready for high speed PCB design. Okay. Now, the final secret, secret number seven, is uh, how do you package your files to send them to a manufacturer, right? So if you, uh, if you wanna get your board manufactured, you need to package the files in such a way that a company can actually build the board. A good way to check your files is to use Altium 365 free online viewer, upload your files, you can submit them as Gerber, and you, know, you can zip them up, you can also use the direct design files from the Altium designer software and upload as well. You can use Eagle, also KiCad, those kinds of formats. And you submit it here and then check it out. You can share your designs, but that's not it. That's not everything. You actually need to go to the manufacturer, go to the manufacturer's website, whether it's Sierra circuits, I like to use Sierra circuits or other companies, they will give you the full list of all the files you need to send to them in order to fabricate and assemble your printed circuit board for design success. And then there will be that back and forth. You need to be able to have those conversations, make the changes necessary to get the design done and on your clients or on the companies or on the boss's desk, right? For hardware testing and validation to get it done, right? You need to finish the job. So let's do a quick recap. Secret number one, Understand the PCB layout process using a professional PCB design software. Secret number two, understand your electronics. Secret number three, parts selection for PCB footprints for those parts. Secret number four, fabrication of the PCB and understanding that. Secret number five, design for manufacturing. Secret number six, signal integrity, power integrity, EMC slash EMI. Secret number seven, being able to submit your files to a manufacturer and assembly house to actually get your board manufactured and assembled. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you wanna get uh, an expansive, like a more expansive list of the things I've mentioned here with some tools, some reference guides you can use for your knowledge, check out the link in the description below where you can join my free groups, any of my free groups or both, and then once you join the group, I'll send you the free guide that has all these links. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.